So for today's video, we are continuing the OTK trend, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna pick the big bad boogeyman. We're gonna play Nixox combo. I know you've seen me already play it. I'm sure you've seen it enough on the ladder. You're tired of it, but I haven't played it yet on the new client. Um, I'm so excited about it. Apparently, my voice is breaking. Actually, it's because I've been talking a lot today, but um, I have not played it on the new client, so I don't even know if this is viable. Um, so we're gonna hop right onto the ladder. Uh, and I say I don't know if it's viable because uh, with the new client, some things are much faster, some things are much slower. And that includes animations and the way cards are drawn. Um, all those little things are so important because if you watched my like beginner's guide to Nixox combo video from before, um, like every moment mattered, every kind of sequencing mattered. Um, so I'm really curious to see if this can be done. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to see if we can pull off the Nixx combo uh, or see if you just run out of turn timer um, with this video. So I think we throw this back, but uh, against Halalu, which is likely going to be an aggressive matchup, I like to start. All right, even better with the scouts report. Fair enough. And emergence camo. Well, we have a curve. Um... I think we just go ahead and discard that to dig deeper because we're just going to continue this trend here anyway. I mean, we could keep it and it theoretically gets us one card deeper potentially, but I like just throwing that back. Because again, our next turn is this and our next turn is this. And then after that, it's uh, questionable, so. I bark and birth. This is interesting. All right, so Mournhold Trader, not what we were hoping to see. Outside of Goblin Surprise! Sculpt, not uh, not good for us. Might be the best two drop. Hey, speak of the devil. Um, should probably just shut my mouth. So I can either soak four or soak two, but potentially three, because if they don't have something else that charges into the Tree Minder, then they maybe don't get the Nord Firebrand. I think I actually want to try to do that. I don't want him getting more resources. I don't want him thinning. Not a great start for us, though. Also, not the kind of deck that uh, we're likely to just survive and get the combo off against. So, in terms of like, hey, I want to test the Nixox combo, probably not the best, you know, so matchup sweet. to dive right into. Grizzly off. Gourmet! Oh, man. I was expecting maybe uh, Oculatus Agent, but... Surprise! So we're going to be taking a lot of damage here. There's not much that we can do about it, sadly, but... My scales move in shadow. Interesting, because if we were to play Sun and Shadow, we could shackle this and find an Ice Storm. Eh, you know what? I think we might just do that anyway. I mean, either way, we're going to attack that, but... The other option is we could, like, Blackhand Messenger this, but we can save the Messenger and the Reverb and whatever for post-Ice Storm. We must count on our wits. But we, I think, definitely want an Ice Storm here. Now, the negative here is we take a minimum of 8, but if they have a Divine Fervor here... Uh, that jumps up to 11 plus 2 Nord Firebrands, ends up being 15. We could be uh, either dead or very, very, very close to dead uh, with them having a really good draw. So um, that was not, you know, the easiest decision to make when Reverb could have pulled 4 damage off, Black Hand could have pulled damage off. Surprise! Um, I mean, I'm a fan of this. There is an argument to be made about putting that into our hand, but I think if I do this, it might uh, make him think I didn't go get Ice Storm, right? Maybe baits him into playing more. I mean, he still has at least two Nord Fire brands here, right? Four other cards we don't know. 
access to five magicka. I think he's really going. All right, what do I do now? Have business with House All right. Lalu. Pawnbreaker. Nothing will trace back to us. Yeah. See, we we may we may have done the, this uh, properly Talos. with the bait. Time to fight. Yep. He's going all in for it. He's saying, all right, he played the Harpy. If he played the Harpy, he probably doesn't have Ice Storm. Talk business, you've come to the right place. I mean, we have to do it, right? So we lose now to uh, Charge Creatures. We lose to Dawnbreaker. If they have the Dawnbreaker, bravo, right? I mean, we hope... There's no Dawnbreaker. Wow, no, they just also have the uh, the Vigilante. I would have thought maybe Cliff Racer, but... All right. Let's go ahead and dive right in because, you know, as I said anyway, that's, that's one of those matchups where uh, we're going to win long before uh, we get the combo off or we're going to lose long before we get the combo off. Playing against Hyper Aggro when you're on Nixox combo is uh, basically like control, right? Like you run them out of cards or they just don't run you over. And that's not what we want. We're trying to test the OTK. We're trying to test the one turn kill. So here we go, Scout. This is hopefully, you know, it's not like a mid-range Scout or something. Hopefully a better opportunity for us to test the combo. Um... I don't think we keep the negation here either. I could be punished. If it's a mid-range scout, then... Well, I, I get a negation back, so I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to say, if we get uh, punished because it's a mid-range scout and I don't have a negation for, like, win keep, then so be it, but... All right. Well met, Marsh friend. Too soon we're gonna see... Oh, a word wall. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. I Let's get in there. This, is interesting. this wouldn't have been a half bad hand um, last game. It probably would have been better because if they didn't have a good way to deal with this, this could have dealt with Mournhold early and... Having the Ice Storm naturally means we could have been more defensive instead of playing the Suns in Shadow. I still think that was the right gamble, but... Opponent taking their time, thinking it through. At three Magicka, they have a lot to think about. Do they play the Indoral Mastermind? Spider Worker, uh oh. I think this is the Abomination deck. The Petamax Abomination is what this is looking like. I do not I cut your purse and, your and that potentially changes things. Quite a bit, actually. I'll scout ahead. Yeah, again, They've overall no the animations are just a little bit different. So I truly am just legitimately curious about... Nothing will trace back to Spy, us. all right. Rebirth pickup is nice. Uh, we are going to get rid of this because this deck, if it puts down the Disciple of Namira next turn and has more zero cost things, they could cycle through even more. So trying to keep this clean is usually beneficial. Same reason we're going to drop that for both trades and then turning it into ramp. Also, I mean, we're dropping that because if we hit a scenario where we do draw a Genius Path Mage and we can attack directly and get in there. That'll be nice. 
So predictable. Two word walls, huh? This one is just a simple All right, so there's farmer. there's the old moon sugar. So it comes to violence. A um, couple of different ways that we could tackle this here. Uh, I think getting rid of this before they get benefit from it is important. So now it's just a question of what do I want to do in terms of like ramp or not? And I think that we. I think we just play the tree minder. Case to maybe be made for like reverberating strike and then trade in so that we get ramp from this, but we're going to get ramp from this either way. Getting this to die means something better to hit with Necromancer since it doesn't look like this is going to die anytime soon. The Black Hand sees all. I mean, if we do end up playing an Ice Storm, I suppose it nukes that, and then Necromancer can get it to draw a card. We just need to dig. We gotta find that uh, Path Mage, you know? Alright, that's actually a pretty decent pickup for us. Herbs can heal the you will die where you stand. Again, we want to try to keep this cleaned up because of Disciple and Namira. We don't want to give them free card draw engine. The Shadow Lane is kind of where the Peter Max Abomination deck lives. So that's going to be their focus. I mean, they're doing this to draw a card, obviously, but they'll still continue to dump creatures over there. That's another word wall. This one is just a maybe maybe they're going to abandon. Maybe they are going to abandon. Um Man, it's really a shame that we don't have A genius uh, path mage because we could totally, with the ring and the ramp, pull off the combo. But alas, we do not. I'm am, I'm actually pretty tempted to just trade this in and then ice storm. I do lose this ramp, but being able to then necromancer and at least draw. Kind of means a lot. I don't want to leave this here. Um, I think this I is just ultimately going to be the right play. Herbs can heal or harm. The longer we can keep this draw engine of our opponent kind of uh, slowed, done. the better off we can be. We'd love to find a camel ourselves because we have not dug very deep in our deck. I mean, that is not a camel. Yep, I think we're still going with it because, I mean, we haven't even found Endoral Mastermind, what so the faster that we can 
get the show on the road, the, the better. Of life. We were actually at a point now where we might have to play cards to get down to 13 Magicka. Should we draw a Path Mage? I mean, obviously not next turn, but I just mean in general in future turns if we don't top deck one soon. Welcome to the Alright, so there's the Disciple. There's the Disciple. Gonna drain me up. Gonna take the trade because they want to draw. And we do have a reverb for that, and we also could uncano it if necessary. Right now, I'm liking the uncano play more than not. I mean, we have a, a Nixox now. I have many important things on my mind. But we do want to get rid of that. Again, the important piece here is to just keep the draw engine down. Man, I mean, we're getting there. We will see about this. I mean, the irony is, is that we might just get to the point where we can win without the OTK, but we want to test they that. Even so. see my blade we're hoping here. Well, there's a Viper. Hoping here to find a Genius Path Mage soon. Or at least something to help us dig. Again, we've had uh, no Camels, no Endorals, not even Scouts reports. There's a lot of draw and a lot of combo pieces left in our deck. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Again, it doesn't make me happy that this is the draw engine that we're doing. But. All right, I think he's going to try to quote unquote go off. What are we going after? Might have found his combo pieces faster than us. I mean, I guess Pokemon is why not, but... It's really disappointing because I really wanted to test this out, but... being rather unkind at the moment. Because again, we, we probably have enough that we could win soon. You know, if we just really wanted to up and do it. But, uh... I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Black hand sees all. Behold my power! Sure, why not? In our quest... Okay. They've no move we can't anticipate. I'm so jealous of your masterminds. In our quest to find combo pieces, um, we're doing it pretty slowly. But I don't want to just win by attacking them, you know? 
I want to do the combo. Alright. It's pretty good for my opponent. All things considered. Again, we are grab the uprising. We're gonna see if we can do this or not. Because these these are gonna go much much slower. Grab experiments. Sure. Sure. Grab the Lanath. I don't know it all. But I'm pretty close. So here we need typically another uprising. And we'll get rid of this. Copy an ox. Over here, because we don't want to deal with this anymore. We'll do that. And go uprising. And so now we'll go grab our Viper. Always grab the Viper first. Um, we already have the uh, Mentor's Ring, so we'll just grab this as well. Um, get rid of the guards so that we don't have to worry about that. Uh-oh. Prophecy. I mean, so far so good, though. We're, We're hitting this uh, timing pretty decently here, so... Now we gotta see if it'll let us queue all of this up. We will see about this. So it does look like we can still do it. Again, animations are a little bit different with the new client, right? A little bit slower. A little bit awkward, but could still queue everything up. Um, Specifically, I noticed during Ulfric's Uprising, uh, things were resolving a little bit slower. But then, like, the attack animations, as far as queuing those up, felt a little bit faster. So, um, unless I'm missing something that kind of felt uh, a bit like a, a net zero game, a net zero, uh, you know, in terms of animations, right? I still felt comfortable. I didn't feel like I was rushed there in order to get that combo done. So, yeah, there you go. Nixox combo. Again, I know you guys are tired of seeing it, but I wanted to test it with the new client, see how it felt. Um, does seem to be fine. Just uh, Ulfric's Uprising, again, timing. A little bit slower in the resolutions. Things just felt more explicit. Uh, old Uprising, like that part went pretty quick, and so things were popping up for you to resolve so fast that it might have been hard to keep track of. Here it was a little bit slower, a little more methodical, like now you do this, now you do this. But then when that part was done, I felt like it was a lot easier to, to drag uh, for the attacks and queue those up um, while you were waiting for Mentor's Ring and so forth. So uh, yeah, if you made it this far, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, may you walk on warm sands.